The forum was broken into two panel discussion groups. Our first panel of the night was made up of songwriters and publishers, and they talked to the crowd about the process of putting pen to paper and creating a song to the end product of finally seeing it published. The panelist was composed of people who work behind the scenes helping writers and recording artists become successful. The first panel was called It All Begins With A Song, exploring careers relating directly to songwriting. Ryan takes care of young singer-songwriters who want to get into the business. He listens to their songs and gives them feedback they need to become successful in the music business. Bicell graduated five years ago from college and loves when people share their experiences about climbing the ladder to fame. The one thing that we talked about at the end is it doesn't matter what you study in life, and it doesn't. This could apply to the music business. It could apply to anything. But I read a stat somewhere that 75% of people who graduate college never go into an industry that they were majored in. And so the one thing I tell everybody is have a have a hunger to do something. And if it is the music business, learn as much as you can. You don't even have to be a music business major. I shared out there I was a finance and economics major. You couldn't be polar opposite industries. But I always loved country music and I knew I wanted to work in it. So I went to town, found an internship. I worked hard and I asked questions and I was on time and persistent and always respectable of people's time. And it seemed like from that there was just other doors that would open up and each time I would kind of do the same, keep the same philosophy and it got me to where I am today. I like to think anyways. One of the panelists was Lindsay Highlander, who has been the opening act for APA for the last year. She feels this has helped her become successful and is looking forward to the release of her new album. Lindsay enjoys being a part of the College of Knowledge. I kind of got excited when we talked about co-writing just because I love it so much <laughs> and I wanted for all the students to understand that you don't have to write alone and that writing with someone else is really something that's creative and that people on the same level as you can really like you guys can understand each other well and so that was probably my favorite. Once a song is written it needs to get to the artist who is going to sing the song. This is where Cheryl Blackman, owner of SDB, comes into play. He is the middleman between the writers and the artists hoping to place a song with the perfect voice. Blackman says the music world is a tough business and you have to develop a thick skin to make your career happen. You're going to hear no a lot but you just have to let it roll off your back and just keep moving forward. Develop a network of, of friends and, and, and other writers and participate. You've got to participate. They're not going to come looking for you. You've got to get out and make it happen. So whatever type of music you want to explore, you have to go to that music center. If it's country, you've got to go to Nashville, pop, you go to New York or L.A., et cetera. So you have to make the effort. Another middleman is Paul Compton, president of two Nashville companies. He works with songwriters in a management capacity as well as a publisher to songwriters and helps them network. Paul also helps the songwriters get to events such as the College of Knowledge. He feels this event is important to both students and the songwriters. College of Knowledge to me is very relatable because it's kind of where I got my start. I went to school at a junior college that had a mass communication program that had an emphasis in uh, the music business. I started there, uh, I learned the basics and uh, also the network that you create with other peers that have similar interests. And uh, I moved from the junior college to MTSU, went through a recording uh, music program there, graduated from that program. And uh, some of my dearest friends that I've had in the music business for 20 years uh, plus all those relationships were established in a college setting and we all um, uh, learned together, grew together in the business and now continue to work together. So I think it's a, it's a good foundation. The College of Knowledge is an ongoing initiative hoping to educate incoming music business leaders and those interested in a career that takes them down the music highway.